Hey, Noah, good morning. What up, Noah? Charmaine and Ryan, look, we're back again during the holidays. Oh, I love it, you know? Yeah. Same. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us back. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Well, Charmaine, there are so many exciting things, my friend, that's currently happening in your life right now. You just got married to the love of your life, Nick, and now you yeah. two are spending a child together due March the 12th, 2020. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, I, I hopefully it doesn't come earlier because I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know your mom would be so happy and so proud, and I know she's smiling from above because, you know, if fans don't know, you know, you recently lost your mom this year. But, you know, how great for you to be blessed with two incredible things, as I know this has, you know, really been such an emotional roller coaster ride for you after losing your mom this year. Oh, I'm so grateful to be blessed with these things because I don't know how I would get through dealing with my mom passing away um, without my husband and also the fact that I'm pregnant, you know, I think it's, um, you know, for me to feel life inside of me moving around, even at my saddest moments, it's just a blessing. And I'm, I'm, I feel like, you know, even though I hate what I'm going through, right. I feel like this is how it was supposed to be because there's no way I would get through it if I wasn't in this situation how it is right now. And of course, you know, this is something that we all have to deal with in life. And I think, you know, you being in the public eye and being right. open about it um, and fans kind of seeing you through the show, the things that you're having to go through hopefully will help them in lost uh, family or friends, you know? Definitely. Um, well, Ryan, now let's go to you. So during the premiere episode of a new season of Black and Crew Chicago, fans were in shock when you announced during the premiere episode that, you know, you were living at the tattoo shop and dealing with other personal family issues. Uh, you know, you went through a lot this year as well, and your fans are here with you. I'm here with you as we want to lift you up. You know, I see you're trying to do better, and we're all human, and we all learn from our mistakes, of course. But, you know, what is the message that you really want to put out there to your fans in this particular new season of Black and Crew Chicago? Uh, you know, I mean, I think the, the biggest message from all of that is that, you know, and I've said it again, but, you know, um, as much as people would see me as successful, you know, I mean, it's just okay to not be okay. Like, uh, a lot of people deal with so many different things, but will have to hide them, and then they wouldn't put them on the forefront. But um, be, me being in my position, you know, I mean, I've dealt with things, and, you know, people would choose to hide theirs, but, I mean, like, nobody's showing, you know, the dirty dishes in the sink. Um, so with myself, I'm like, I'm not the only person to ever have to sleep on an air mattress. People wouldn't want to admit it, you know what I mean? Right. But it happens, you know what I mean? People who own businesses, sometimes you don't get the chance to go home. Uh, sometimes you might have to take a step back and, you know, sleep at your business. It happens, you know? So just being as raw and as real with that, uh, along with therapy and the things that, that I've gone through and having to express them and, and allowing the expression to help me through it, you know what I mean? That, to me, uh, as hard as it may be, I know what it can give someone or what inspiration can give someone to, uh, you know, to take accountability and start helping themselves. So um, that was uh, my plight when it came to expressing that to the world when I could have just, you know, kept it bottled. Well, what really made this the right time for you, Ryan, to really be open and honest to your fans about what's been happening in your life lately? Because I think, you know, sharing that with others who could also be going through some of the same things that you're having to deal with will hope help them as well when they're watching this season of the show. Yeah, I mean, I've, uh, I've been blessed to, to get through these things, mm -hmm. uh, but I also had to go through them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and just because I'm through them now doesn't mean that somebody who's going through them right now knows how to, how to get through them. So... Uh, like I said, being able to get through them, I, I feel like it's a, it's a duty to express that. It's a duty to show people uh, that there's ways to be able to help yourself, there's ways to be able to get help uh, because, I mean, sometimes it has to come from inspiration. Sometimes it has to come from uh, seeing somebody that you admire or respect you know, show that they are real and there's vulnerabilities in everything you do and um, it's a way out from, you know, just holding it in. Right. Well, Charmaine and Ryan, I, I adore you too. I'm so happy that, you know, we could be able to do this again because I love having you two on the show and y'all are so much fun and, you know, I, I just think that you both can relate because y'all both are having to go through things, you know, in your life right now and, you know, 
Um, I, I, I'm sending love and uh, prayers and, of course, uh, th that the light will shine to you guys. It's holiday season because, you know, it's the <laughs> holidays. That's right. So what is a holiday tradition that you guys do each and every year with your family? Let's start with you, Charmaine, and then, Ryan, you can weigh in and share yours. Um, I like to just spend time with my family. They're back in Louisiana, and yeah. um, this will be my first Christmas without my mom, but my oh, parents... Yeah. Usually, they've been married for 30 years, and um, they throw down in the kitchen, cook some, like, some of the most amazing Ooh. food. The gumbo, the seafood etouffee, seafood dressing, greens, fried turkey. I love it. Yes, yeah, so. I want to um, come over. Yeah. <laughs> come on over. And I actually found some gumbo in the freezer that my mom cooked last year. Ooh. Yes, and it's, oh man, it, I ate a little for Thanksgiving, and it was so good, so I can't wait to get my hands back on that. Yes. How about for you, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, mine is pretty much the same. I just, I try to spend as much time around the holidays uh, away from work and mm -hmm. putting that time into family. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know, I mean, people will see going into the season that uh, I try to spend more time into rebuilding, you know, the things that I've lost. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I just... For me, I mean, that was a question more for Charmaine, you know, with her. Like I said, this is the first Thanksgiving she just had to have without her mom, and then the first Christmas yeah. she's going to have to have without her mom. And, you know what I mean, that's something that I couldn't imagine or wouldn't want to have to go through. Right. So I just got to try to be there for her through that. Definitely. Well, Charmaine and Ryan, thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. You guys can catch Black Ink Crew Chicago, the new season. It is airing currently on the VH1 Network. Well, y'all both take care. Have a great holiday season. You, Enjoy too. it with family, and I'll chat with you guys soon. It's always a pleasure to have y'all on the show. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, you too. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.